Hello students. Today's topic is the four fundamental subspaces. Under this topic, we are going to study what are four fundamental subspaces and how we can find the basis and dimension for four fundamental subspaces. The four fundamental subspaces are column space, null space, row space and left null space. Now, let us see how we can write the dimension for four fundamental subspaces. Here, if I take a matrix of order n, that is, if A is n cross n matrix, then the column space of A is denoted by C of A. And the dimension of the column space of A is equal to R, where R is the rank of the matrix. And null space of matrix A is denoted by n of A. Its dimension is n minus r. The row space of the matrix A is the column space of A transpose. So it is denoted by C of A transpose. That is the row space of matrix A is the column space of A transpose and its dimension is r. Here we can observe that the dimension of column space is same as the dimension of row space. Now let us see how we can write the dimension of left null space. The left null space of the matrix A is the null space of A transpose and it is denoted by N of A transpose. The dimension of left null space of the matrix A is N minus R. Now, if we take a matrix of a order M cross N, that is, M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. Then, the dimension of column space of A is equal to rank of the matrix A and dimension of null space of A is n minus r where n represents number of columns so dimension of null space of a is n minus r and dimension of a row space dimension of a row space is dimension of column space of a transpose that is equal to r and dimension of left null space the dimension of left null space is dimension of null space of A transpose that is M minus R where M is the number of rows. So these points we require to write the dimension of four fundamental subspaces. Now let us work out problems on four fundamental subspaces. The first problem is find the dimension and basis for the four fundamental subspaces for the matrix A is equal to first row 1, 2, 0, 1, second row 0, 1, 1, 0 and third row 1, 2, 0, 1. This is a given matrix and for this matrix we have to find the dimension and basis for four fundamental subspaces. That is we have to find the basis and dimension for column space of A, null space of A row space of A and left null space of A. First we will find the column space of A and dimension of column space of A. We take the given matrix and reduce the given matrix to echelon form using row operation. We write the row operation for the third row as R3 is equal to R3 minus R1. So using this row operation we are getting matrix A as first row 1, 2, 0, 1, second row 0, 1, 1, 0 and third row 0, 0, 0, 0. Now the matrix is reduced to echelon form. So in the echelon form, we write the rank of the matrix. The rank of the matrix is number of non-zero rows in the echelon form. That is equal to 2. So for the matrix A, rank is equal to 2. Now, 
the dimension of the column space is given by r that is equal to rank so we write the dimension of column space equal to 2 and here when we reduce the matrix to echelon form in the first row we have the non-zero entry 1 that entry is called pivot element similarly in the second row the first non-zero entry is 1 again this is also the pivot element that is for each non-zero row the first non-zero entry is a pivot element and the columns containing pivot elements the columns containing pivot elements are called pivot columns so here we can observe that first and second columns are pivot columns now the pivot columns of A are the basis for its column space. So, the pivot columns are first and second column. So, we can say that first and second column form basis for the column space of A. That is, the first column is 1, 0, 1. Second column is 2, 1, 2. So, we write the basis, of, basis for column space of A as 1, 0, 1. 2, 1, 2. Next, we will find the dimension and basis for null space of A. So, we start with the echelon form. So, already we have obtained echelon form of matrix A as A is equal to first row 1, 2, 0, 1, second row 0, 1, 1, 0, and third row 0, 0, 0, 0. Here, the null space of matrix A is the set of all solutions x such that A into x equal to 0. Now here we write A into x as A. A is the echelon form of the matrix multiplied by x. We take x as x1, x2, x3, x4 because here there are 4 columns. So, here we require 4 variables. So, that gives A into X equal to 0. And here, X1 and X2 are pivot variables. That means, here, when we multiply this A into X, here, 1 is a pivot entry. We are multiplying 1 with X1. So, X1 is pivot variable. And if we take the second row, here, 1 is a pivot element. And when we multiply this, we are multiplying 0, x1 and 1 into x2. Since 1 is a pivot element, we are multiplying 1 with x2. So, x2 is called the pivot variable. So, x1 and x2 are pivot variables. The remaining two variables, x3 and x4 are free variables. So, we write the equation for x1 and x2 in terms of x3 and x4. Next, we write the system of equations using this. That gives 1 into x1 plus 2 into x2 plus 0 into x3 plus 1 into x4 equal to 0. That is this equation. Next, we will write the second equation as 0 into x1 that is 0 only. Then 1 into x2. 1 into x2 plus 1 into x3 plus 0 into x4 equal to 0. So, we are writing the equation as x2 plus x3 equal to 0. So, it gives x2 is equal to minus 3. So, we are getting pivot variable x2 equal to minus x3. Now, substituting this in the above equation that is here x1 plus 2x2 plus x4 equal to 0. We can write x1 equal to minus 2 times x2 where x2 is replaced by minus x3 then minus x4. Now we are getting x1 equal to 2x3 minus x4. So we have obtained pivot variables x1 equal to 2x3 minus x4 and x2 is equal to minus x3. Then we can write x is equal to x1, x2, x3, x4 that is equal to x1 is 2x3 minus x4. So, we replace here. So, x1 is replaced by 2x3 minus x4 and x2 is x2 is minus x3. So, x2 is minus x3. 
remaining two variables as it is because these are the free variables x3 x4 or we can write x equal to x is equal to here we have two variables x3 and x4 we write the solution in terms of x3 and x4 so x3 into here if we take the coefficients of x3 this is a 2 so first entry is 2 next coefficient of x3 is minus 1 so second entry minus 1 then next x3 coefficient is 1 and here we don't have x3 so coefficient is 0 plus x4 into now we take x4 coefficients here minus 1 here it is 0 0 and this is 1 into x4 so we are getting minus 1 0 0 1 this is called the special solution and the basis for null space of a is 2 minus 1 1 0 and minus 1 0 0 1 the special solution is called the basis for the null space the dimension of null space of a is n minus r but we got the rank as 2 rank of the matrix is 2 where n is the number of columns in the given matrix there are four columns therefore n is equal to 4 so since n is equal to 4 the dimension of the null space of a is n minus r that gives n minus r is 4 minus 2 equal to 2 next we find the row space of a A row space of a is the column space of a transpose so from the given matrix a we write a transpose a transpose is now first row becomes first column when we write a transpose that is first column is 1 2 0 1 second column is 0 1 1 0 and third column is 1 2 0 1 we reduce this matrix to echelon form using row operations here we write the row operation as r2 is equal to r2 minus 2 r1 and for the last row r4 is equal to r4 minus r1 so using the row operation we are getting a transpose as 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0, 0. now the matrix a transpose is reduced to echelon form the rank of a transpose is 2 here these two we, uh, 1 and 1 these two entries are called pivot entries so dimension of a row space of a is the dimension of a column space of a transpose that is equal to r but since r is 2 the dimension of a row space equal to 2 now we write the basis so here we can observe that pivot columns are contained in pivot elements are in the first and second column so we can say that first and second column form a basis for the column space of a transpose so basis for the column space of a transpose are first and second columns of a transpose that is first column is 1 2 0 1 second column 0 1 1 0 so basis for the column space of a transpose that is 1 2 0 1 0 1 1 0 next we find basis and dimension for left null space the left null space of the matrix a is the null space of a transpose we have a transpose equal to this is the transpose of a first column 1 2 0 1 second column 0 1 1 0 and third column is 1 2 0 1 here after reducing this to echelon form we are getting a transpose as first row 1 0 1 second row 0 1 0 third row 0 0 0 and last row is 0 0 0 now the left null space of a is equal to null space of a transpose so null space of a transpose is a set of all y such that a transpose into y equal to 0 now here we write 
a transpose into y that is a transpose is this multiplied by y we take y as column vector y1 y2 y3 because here there are three columns so take y is equal to y1 y2 y3 equal to 0 0 0 and here we are multiplying pivot elements 1 when we multiply this 1 is multiplied to y1 so y1 is pivot variable pivot variable similarly if we multiply the second row with y we are multiplying this pivot element to y2 so y2 is a pivot variable y1 and y2 are pivot variables and y3 is a free variable so we write equation for y2 and y3 we can write 1 into y1 plus 0 into y2 plus 1 into y3 equal to 0 that gives y1 plus y3 is equal to 0 next if we multiply the second row with y we write it as 0 into y1 plus 1 into y2 plus 0 into y3 equal to 0 that gives y2 is equal to 0 so we are getting y2 0 and from this equation we write y1 is equal to minus y3 so here we got pivot variables y1 as minus y3 and y2 is equal to 0 now we write y as y is equal to y1 y2 y3 that will be y1 is minus y3 y2 is 0 and next uh, next variable y3 or we write y as y is equal to y3 we write the solution in terms of y y3 into so if we take the coefficients of y3 here co coefficient of y3 is minus 1 next 0 then here 1 so it is y3 into minus 1 0 1 now the basis for left null space of a is equal to the basis for the null space of a transpose that is the basis for the null space of a transpose is minus 1 0 1 so we write the basis as minus 1 0 1 and the dimension of a left null space is the dimension of null space of a transpose but we know that dimension of null space of a transpose is m minus r where m is a number of rows in the given matrix there are three rows so m is equal to 3 minus r is the rank of the matrix that is 2 so 3 minus 2 that gives 1 so dimension of null space of a transpose is 1 